بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمدللہ رب العالمین و صلی اللہ و سلم علی نبی محمد و علی آلہ و صحبہ و سلم اما بع اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی in the Quran addressed the mushrikeen that when they were testing the Prophet صلی اللہ علیہ و سلم regarding issues of creed and iman and about who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was and that they worshipped other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that they directed their ibadah to other than Allah they supplicated and so forth they were tested and part of that test comes in the ayat in the verse where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran قُلْ مَنْ يَرْزَقَكُمْ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ وَالْأَرْضِ أَمَنْ يَمْلَكُ السَّمْعِ وَالْأَبْصَارِ وَمَنْ يُخْرِجُ الْحَيَّ مِنَ الْمَيْتِ وَيُخْرِجُ الْمَيَّةَ مِنَ الْحَيِّ وَمَنْ يُدَبِّرُ الْأَمْرِ فَسَيُقُولُونَ اللَّهِ فَقُلْ أَفَلَا تَتَّقُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala deals with their disputes about who is the creator of the heavens and earth and who they shall return to and who they should fear and worship which is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he says to wa ta'ala he says say addressing the Prophet sallallahu to say to the mushrikeen say to those pagans say who is the one who provides for you from the sky and the earth and who is the one is the owner of, of hearing and sight and who brings forth life yukhrijul hay min al mate from death wa yukhrijul mate and takes uh, death from the from life and who is the one who plans the affairs then they will say allah then he says then why then say why then you do you not fear him a beautiful one beautiful benefit of this ayat is the last part when he says, then why don't you fear Allah? That's an address for the people who are not the people of Iman, meaning who disbelieve in Allah and His Messenger, alayhi salatu wasalam, as well as it's a reminder for us, afala tattaqun, meaning that when we engage in sin and we realize all of these things, that Allah is the creator of the heavens and earth, that Allah brings forth life from death and death from life. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the all-hearing and the all-seeing. And he is, uh, he is able to do all things. And He is the one who provides for us. And He is the one who plans. Then why is it that we do not fear Him? Stay away from the muharramat and do the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that's something for us to reflect on as Ahl Iman to try to strive to achieve taqwa and that's what this month of Ramadan is for to strive to achieve taqwa and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase us in iman in ihsan and in taqwa wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam